Hey guys, Matt Bean here with Built Right Industries. I'm gonna make this quick. Today we're gonna to install the 09 to 14 Built Right Industries bedside racks. Um, and that's for an F-150 or a Raptor. Um, first, we'll show you the tools you're gonna to need. We're gonna show you the parts that are gonna be included in the kit. And then we're gonna go ahead and install one corner of it knowing that the other three are just about identical. So let's hop to it. So grab your T30 socket or driver. Uh, grab your 7 16 inch wrench or socket and then whatever socket's going to fit your bed rail clamps if you bought clamps from us That's going to be a half inch Okay Step one and I strongly recommend this step is to set the panel into place approximately And have a look at it and the reason for that is that it is much easier to install your clamps or your mounts or whatever you're going to use right now than to go back and do it after you've installed this. Of course it's possible and it's actually not that difficult, but it's gonna save you some time and frustration. So figure out where you wanna mount your accessories now and let's throw the clamps on there. All right, so now you can see I've got my quick fist clamp here with my Built Right Industries riser mount on my panel. I've got a second one over here uh, and the panel is not yet installed. So what I'm going to do now is assemble the bottom bracket onto the panel and then we'll uh, go ahead and fit up the panel for the uh, final time here. Okay, to, so to assemble the panel here, we need the panel obviously, we need the bracket, and then we're going to use our carriage bolts and provided nuts to assemble this bracket on the back side of the mount like that. Okay, so before we can do anything else, we got to remove this factory tie down here. Um, these are a T30. Mine have been in and out a few times, so they are not too tight. You may need to put a little bit more leverage into it, but uh, in any case, T30 and they should come out just fine. So with our tie down gone, we can set our panel into place. And in doing so, make sure that you keep the top edge of the panel tucked behind the bed rail, because that's where you're gonna clamp it to. So go ahead and lift it into place like this, and then we'll install our tie down again with the two stock bolts, and, um, and then we can uh, get these almost tight, but not fully tight yet. So now it's time to place our two clamps. Now this can be a little bit uh, cumbersome, depending on your clamps, none of them are really great. Uh, but once they're installed correctly, they do, do, they do do the job nicely. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install these two clamps just like this. Um, you want to make sure that you are clamping the back side of the panel, not too high and not too low. So um, that'll just take a bit of experimentation, but when you get it, you'll know. Um, keeping an eye out just to keep it level. Uh, and once you've got these tight, you can go ahead and, and cinch those down. Okay, so it's as easy as that. We've got our panel in here. We've got our two uh, bed rail clamps tight. We've got all of our fasteners down here snug. We've got our two mounts. And now I'll use this handy jack handle as a, uh, as a nice example piece. Get that in there, cinch it down, and we're good to go. So go ahead, use your creativity, take your time. Um, the other three corners are gonna be just like this in the same order. Um, they're just gonna look a little bit different. So um, follow the same process and you should be good to go. 